Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to My Life on a Budget. Today y'all is Tuesday, March the 12th, and your girl is currently current. Hello, hello, I'm so excited about this, y'all. We're about to do a little quick plan with me because I have so much going on this week and I'm getting ready to go out of town this weekend, and so there's so much going on and I want to go ahead and get everything together while I can, okay? I'm not sure when this video will post, but at least at the time of me doing the video, I am on time, all right? So if you want to go ahead and plan with your girl for the week of the 11th through the 17th, then stay tuned. Okay, so boom, y'all. If y'all stay tuned, and clearly that means you want to go ahead and do a plan with me with your girl. Okay? First things first, let's get the pleasantries out of the way. Y'all already know how that goes. Hey, y'all. Hey, welcome back to any and out of my returning budget base. I'm so glad y'all decided to come back and chill with your girl. Y'all already know it is love, love, love for you guys. And if you are new around here, then hey, y'all. Hey, welcome, welcome, and welcome. Okay? I'm so glad you stopped by. If you, uh, uh, if you like it over here, please don't forget to hit that like button you guys if you enjoyed the video hit that like button okay it helps my channel float around out there and we can go over here and get us some extra budget base on top of the fact that i just really appreciate it as well all right and if you are new here and you like the video not only hit that like button but also hit that subscribe button hello i would love to have you guys come and join the budget base y'all okay so boom we already got all that good old stuff out the way okay so let's talk about first of all hey y'all to my new 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 subscribers my new budget base hey y'all welcome 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 i saw y'all creep on in and all that good old stuff i'm so glad y'all decided to chill with your girl and y'all already know how i feel about y'all y'all are a part of the budget base and so it is love 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 for you guys okay look let's talk about it so i hope this video finds everybody doing well I hope this video finds everybody doing well. Um, you know, I'm so excited, you guys. I don't know how this video will post or how the videos will post, you guys. But when I tell you I am so excited, by now, you guys should have seen my other video. So, y'all already know you girl got a job. Yes, I got a job. Yes. So, y'all, when I tell y'all, I am so excited. I don't think I was as excited when I told y'all initially about it, y'all. But when I tell you, everything has kind of like, you know, I did my um, background check. I did the drug test. It had, you know, everything has came back positive. They have sent me the, the uh, official thing to say, hey, girl, hey. You know, congratulations, your stuff is passed. Whoop de whoop de woo. Baby, when I tell you it feels official, y'all. It really feels official right now. And I am in love with it. Do you hear me? I am in love with it. Y'all, we're gonna talk about that when I'm filling my stuff out, but let's talk about what I'm gonna use, okay? Now I already told you guys that we're gonna be doing for the month of I'm sorry, for the week of March the eleventh through the 17th y'all okay and that will kind of just help me kind of put everything in order and put everything in place as far as what was what and what's going on y'all because baby when i tell you this week has been busy on top of the fact so not only are we going to do week uh the 11th through the um the 11th through 17th let me show you what books i'm going to use i have the playful type for the letters i need to make my to-do list and do you know fill out my thing so we're going to use the playful type I also have the Going Places book from Wrong Wrong. Um, it's actually Happy Planner, but Wrong Wrong. This is how I initially met Wrong Wrong was through the Happy Planner. And with these girls, I was like, oh, my God. And ever since then, she kind of went, went off on her own. And, baby, I have followed her. Okay. We also have the Kelly Plan travel basis because we will be traveling this weekend. So, hopefully, they'll have some, like, road trip type of things in here. And we'll pull that out. Okay. I did pull the Colorful Boxes book out just because y'all know that I have been trying to use up my boxes. And we need to use any and all of the boxes, baby. This has 
all the, the colors of the boxes, okay? And just in case they don't have enough boxes on this side, we will bring those out, okay? I did bring the Gender 52 book out too because I used that little box because my stupid cycle did start. And so that's why those are out. I have two books of them just because I don't know which one has the one that I need, but it's the same exact book. Okay, so now that we got all of that out of the way, y'all, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Y'all, I hope this video finds y'all doing so well. I hope this video finds everybody doing well. When I tell y'all, I am in such a good mood. And of course, the job pills, right? The job, baby, the job is coming through. And definitely, um, it, it helped me out a little bit or whatever. Okay, we're going to use some different travel things up in here just because this is going to be a month, a week of traveling and really a month of traveling because we're leaving this week. On the 15th, uh, we're leaving out on the 15th and we're going to do a weekend out of town on a quick world trip. And then, of course, that first week in April, um, we will be going to Phuket. So, that will be our last official big thing going on for the year of 2024. Even though your girl is big. Why? I'm big. Hold on, y'all. That right there is going to... Hold on, that's a little little. Let me let me see what else. Let me see what else we got in here because that's kind of big. Those things are kind of big. And it's giving. It's giving. It's taking up too much room, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Like, girl, come on with the story. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, yeah. We'll just grab this girl's. This girl's book right here. They all have some much smaller things. That way we ain't got to these things. Like these things are too big or something. Y'all, I don't know what's going on for me to fill out that little middle part. But anyway, so y'all, okay, so let's talk about it now. Mind you, if you have not already watched my plan with me, March the 4th through March the 10th, you might want to go back to that particular video because that is when I really just got out into everything that had kind of went on with the job and with me getting the job. So if you want the backstory on that, y'all, please go back to that particular uh, channel and um, uh, I'm sorry, go back to that particular video, and then you guys can see what's going on. But let's talk about this week. Okay, so as of Friday, when I had talked to you guys, I was taking the drug test. So your girl went and took the drug test Friday. Um, I was rambling around Friday with the take the drug test. Then Thursday, Thursday, they had sent me late, like um the thing to do for my background check or whatever. Y'all. So, I did the background check stuff, whatever, Thursday, but I couldn't schedule the appointment to go for, for I mean, for the drug test or whatever. Because, baby, low-key, I was trying to do it all at one time. Like, I got what time do y'all close type thing. But they was just like, no, you know, come tomorrow or whatever. And anyway, I ended up coming the next day, and the dang on people ended up pushing the appointment back again, child. So, it was just like, okay, well, whatever. But anyway, but I went over there on um, Friday. Friday at noon, the lady was able to get me in, so that was perfect. We went over there and uh, was able to do the little drug test and whatnot. And then, oh, I had sent her a message and let her know, you know, the drug test had been done. And if she needed anything else from me, you know, just let me know, whatever case may be. And she was just like, oh, no, it's fine. We'll let you know when we hear something back. It probably won't be till next week sometime. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we go through the weekend. And even then, you guys, when I, even then, when I took, after I had officially completed the drug test, I, that's when it started sinking in. Because I'm not going to lie, y'all. When she first called me or whatever, and she kept sent, she, she sent the uh, paperwork, I mean, she sent the, Offer letter. Well, she called one day and then the next day she ended up sending an offer letter. It didn't. It didn't seem real. Like I still wasn't. I don't know. It just didn't seem real, y'all. Like wait, I just. I don't know why in my mind I was in like. This, is this a? Is this a prank? Like are they gonna try to take this back? And you know what I'm saying? I just didn't want to get too excited about anything. Which, why would they take it back? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing I had to remember. Like, come on, come on, come on, baby. It's like you're giving yourself extra, 
you know, <clears throat> drama that you really don't have to worry about. Because, girl, come on now. So, I was just like, this is real. So, once I took the drug test or whatever, and once I had submitted my background, just like, it was nothing else left for me to do, y'all. I'm like, okay, okay. It's, it's real. Like, it's real. Like, your girl, your girl is going to be back to work, y'all. Oh, my goodness. When I tell you, it's the happiness for me, y'all. I don't... I have not felt this way. Now, let's be clear. We still got other problems going on, of course. You know, it's everything ain't peaches to coin. But it just, this is just one less stress. Like, I feel like when I have, when I at least can go to work to kind of release some stress off, that's perfect for me, y'all, because your girl needs to be able to release all whatever stress I have I need to some kind of way to release it and normally for me it's like going off and working and doing a you know doing some some sort of something that makes my brain work the sitting at home y'all has been the hardest of my life but I feel like the Lord was probably trying to tell me patience patience that's that's what i even when i was talking to my sister-in-law that's the same thing she was saying too she was like you 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 literally have everything that you asked for girl i was like right y'all let me write this down real quick let me see yeah so you know she was just kind of like girl you literally have and you literally got Everything you ask for. Y'all, and I'm not going to lie to y'all. I totally feel the same. Like, when I was praying to the Lord, um, one of the things that I said was, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Y'all know I can't write this off. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So... I'm going to write in this blue uh, paper mate pen just because it's right here and I haven't wrote in paper mate in a minute, y'all. So that's why we're going to do that. But anyway, um, y'all, I literally feel like, okay, because remember when all this stuff, all of my OG budget base, y'all remember when this first started, my prayer has been something to the effect of like, I want to get in a company where I could grow, where I can learn something new and preferably I don't have to take a pay cut. And if I have to take a pay cut, it's not a major pay cut. Y'all, when I tell you literally, y'all, literally every single thing that I see has came to fruition. The people like called me and I remember I told y'all about how nice the interview went. But I was like still, you know... I didn't want to give too much. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how it, y'all already know how it be. When your girl get all into the stuff and then it don't work out. And then I'm over here crying because now I'm depressed. Well, <clears throat> everything worked out. And I felt like even when leaving the job interview, I was like, dang, that, you know, that was a really good interview. I remember telling you guys, you know, that was a really good interview, but I don't want to put too much on it, okay? Because y'all know that is not the first time that your girl has had a really good interview. And I was just like so worried about it being so many people in there. You know, the, she said five, but it was only like four people in there. But even still, like um, four people at one time interviewing me. You know, like I was really worried about that. And I'm just really glad that everything worked out because even when I left, I didn't feel like I didn't impress one of the people. Like I didn't feel like that. I really felt like, oh, that was, this was actually pretty good. You know, like I could see myself, you know, being with these people or whatever. Because, you know, when you're when you're interviewing when you're when people are interviewing you for a job, you're also interviewing them because you're kind of figure out like, am I gonna like this stuff or what? I mean, it gets to the point to where you're like, okay, you re you're ready to be at work, of course, but at the same time, I didn't want to get to the point to where I was just ready to take anything. 
you know, and I felt like that was the blessing in all of this because I, I didn't feel forced to have to just get out there and just do, you know, just do anything. You know, if, you know what I'm saying? If that, if that makes sense, like, oh, you got to make some money. Like, you better go do something. Hello, like, okay. I didn't feel that way. And I feel like, honestly, it's because of Papa. Because I, I have Papa and he did not make me feel not one time like, girl, you need to be at work. Or, girl, you, you need to find something to do. You know what I'm saying? No, he was always very much so, um, you know, take your time, figure out what you want to do, and then do it. You know, don't just pick something and you know you may not like it type thing. You know what I'm saying? So, that was more him. So, I felt like that kind of eased a lot of pressure for me, y'all, because... I didn't have that strain like if if I was a single person. You know what I'm saying? And so thank God for a husband that, you know, had my back and stuff like that. And y'all just don't know, baby, the way I spoiled him before, baby. Him doing this really like did some like he yeah he he got a couple of extra notches on his belt for this one and the way that i'm gonna spoil that man y'all is gonna be crazy i already spoiled him i already spoiled him y'all but the way that I'm going to spoil him now that I know for a fact when I'm done. Because I've never been. I'm just going to keep it 100 with y'all. I've never been in a situation as far as with Papa where we have been on. Where, well. Where we had to only depend on him. That's the only test that I feel like. We had never had, you know, I've always worked. He's always worked, things of that nature. And I feel like me losing my job was a very much uh, experience that was like, dang, that's crazy, right? And then at the same time, it was just like, oh, shit, like, how is this going to be? Just because we had never encountered that before and it's not like I felt like oh he's gonna play me or he's gonna whatever I just honestly didn't know y'all I just really did not know how it was gonna be and I just was really ready to be back to work because I just didn't want that to be a strain in our relationship because you know they say money be the strain in people's relationship y'all they said that money be the strain in people's relationship and I just did not um, I just did not want that, you know, and so I'm just so thankful that he was not that type of person, and he just, like, he held me down, y'all, oh, he held me down, I start working in April, after we come back from Thailand, the lady wanted me to start April the 1st, but of course, that's when we leaving for Thailand, so, and that's another thing, y'all, everything that, that, that went on, like, every, like, when I, okay, like every, like when the everything that I told her, she was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? She was like, okay, no problem, or, or let me check, and that shouldn't be a problem, or whatever, you know. Like for instance, when I asked her for my pay, because she told me the pay, and I I was like, well, can that be, you know, can that be negotiated or whatever? And she was like, sure, you know, let's talk about like what are you looking for? Da, 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 da. So I was just I wasn't really scared to ask her for what I wanted. I just wanted to put it out there, you know what I mean? Like put find out what their budget was, find out what it was, like what was the room, like what you know, what 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 type of room did I have, if you will. You know, and so she was very much. So I told her, you know, where I was trying. When she told me the the, bu the uh, budget for it, I told her where I was trying to be. And she, baby, she was like, okay. <laughs> she was like, okay. She was like, I I'll go ask him. I'll go ask the owner. You know, um, 
And she was like, but I feel like it's going to be fine. You're, you're de I feel like you're definitely worth it. And she was like, so, yeah, that's not going to be a problem. And then when I told her, when she sent me over the, um, they sent me over the offer letter. Um, they sent me over the offer letter. And the offer letter had April the 1st. And I was just like, Ugh, you know, um... I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to be unavailable until blah, blah, blah day. And, you know, I just want to let you know, you know, can we push that day back? Blah, blah, blah. And she was like, okay. <laughs> like, everything was not an issue. And, and when I was praying to the Lord, even when he, when they called me about this, you know, when he blessed me with this position, one of the things I said was like, Lord, you know, I have this stuff going on. You know, this stuff is paid for already. I'm like, so if it's meant to be. And let it be. I ain't let it be. My papa was like, let it be. And let it be without any type of confusion, y'all. Let it be without any type of confusion, y'all. That is kind of how I felt about that. And I feel like every single thing that I've had going on has been without confusion. Like when I told them about the money, when I told them about whatever, whatever the stuff that it was that I was saying to them or letting them know that I had going on, the people was not giving me no type of back, back lash or Oh, no, well, we can't do that. Or, oh, no, that's not going to work. Not one of, not one time, y'all. Not one time did they give me, did they give me any type of issue. So, I feel like this is meant to be, y'all. I feel like this is meant to be. I feel like it is my time. And when I tell y'all, I am so happy. Y'all, I am so freaking happy. I am so freaking happy. Like, for real. For real. I am extremely happy, y'all. So, I just, I, you know, I thank all of my budget base for give, always giving me a good positive word. Thank you to all of y'all for hearing me rant and rave about the fact that your girl was ready to go to work. Thank you for just thugging it out with me during this time, y'all. Just, it has been everything, y'all. And then, so on Monday, I rearranged all of my closets, y'all. Yes. Yesterday, which was yesterday, um, I have, my husband and I share closets, right? So we share closets. So our downstairs closet is like a his and hers type of situation. It's like a big old open area, but like you walk in and on the one side it's his closet and then on the other side is my closet, right? But that's not enough room. <laughs> like I have, <laughs> ah! yeah, I have too many clothes. And on top of the fact that I was not, oh, I'm sorry. On top of the fact, I just dropped that book on my baby. Um, on top of the fact, y'all, that I was not wearing my clothes because when I was at work for the last at least about three or four years, y'all, I have not had to wear, I have not had to wear anything because I was working from home for the last like three or four years, y'all. Even before COVID, I was working from home. So it was just one of those things where I had taken my clothes and I was, I had taken my, my work clothes and I had moved them upstairs because I never, uh, I never really, like, I didn't need the clothes anymore because they were like, you know, I couldn't wear them. Well, not that I couldn't wear them, but we, we weren't at, we weren't at the office anymore. So I was like, it was taking up a lot of my closet that's downstairs, which is, you know, my main closet because that's where I am. And so I like to put the clothes that I use more often, keep those down there and then kind of rotate in the other clothes, if that makes sense. Like, you know, kind of moving me in and out. So that's kind of how I do that. But, um, all of my work clothes were upstairs. 
So I had to rearrange all of those, bring them downstairs, take my jeans and like a bunch of t-shirts that I have. I have so many t-shirts. It's not even funny. I have to take a lot of those upstairs. I left a few t-shirts downstairs just for me to grab. But a lot of that stuff needed to go upstairs because it was just too much t-shirts, y'all. Yeah, so I used my extra room, the room that would have been my youngest daughter's room, since she's no longer here and we're no longer going to have anybody living here, baby. That closet, I moved some winter stuff or like things that my my daughter has some formal dresses from when she was in when, when she was in dance and you know just like stuff that I really don't use over there. I have like some two piece sets, um, stuff like that, just random stuff like that, y'all. So, yeah, it was really cool. It was really, really, really cool that uh, I was able to do that. I am so excited to wear my clothes, too, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but your girl like to put that ish on, baby. I like to put that ish on, y'all. I like to put that ish on. So, the fact that I got to get my... Uh, the fact the, the the fact that I'm getting to wear clothes again is everything. I really didn't know how I was going to feel about going back into the office because they said that eventually they may make it where, you know, we can work from home sometimes. But I don't want to work from home every day, y'all. I told y'all already, I would prefer to work from home like, I would prefer to work from home maybe like two days out of the week. Yeah, so <clears throat> I felt super excited about the fact that, you know, uh, I, 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 I had, I'm going to get to put some clothes on, baby, okay? Because I like dressing up. What I got to figure out, y'all, is how, like, am I going to be able to wear my heels or am I going to need, like, some flat shoes? Because I normally, I'm a heels girl, but, you know, I ain't worn my heels in a little minute, but at the same time, I normally like to wear heels because I'm short. I'm only 5'2". So, I, you know, I like to wear my little heels. Well, um, if I'm going to be walking around because in my capacity, I'm going to be like an admin assistant slash, I think, receptionist or something. I don't know. She said it's going to be like all encompassed. She's like, I need to pass some stuff off to you. So, it ain't no telling what you're going to be doing. I'm like, okay. Let, okay. Let me know, baby. Let me know. Be doing okay. I don't mind. So, yeah. Um, but I just want to figure out if I'm gonna be needing to wear my. Yeah, I'm. I need to um see if I'm be wearing my heels or if I'm gonna have to do a lot of walking around. If I'm gonna have to do a lot of walking around, y'all, then I don't want to um. I don't want to, I don't want to have my heels or I may just bring my heels and I, I may just bring my heels and then like if it gets to be too much or if I got to walk around, then I'll bring some flats too. I might do that. Hello. Cause baby low key, I want to put my heels on, but I want to be comfortable too because if I'm going to be doing like a lot of standing or squatting or sitting or whatever, if I'm be sitting, it's fine because I, you know, I won't have to be doing a lot of walking, but if I'm be getting up and back and up and back and up and back, your girl needs to, uh, 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 your girl gonna have to, uh, figure something out and I need to be as comfortable as possible, especially since she also was saying that, you know, it's some stuff that I have to put together. So I don't know if that means like, is she saying like, I'm going to have to put like files together or what? I just don't know what I'm going to be doing, y'all. So I feel like what I'm probably going to do is take me a little bag in there with my, my with, with some flats. And if I got to slip into the flats, I will. Okay, if I gotta slip into the flat, if I gotta slip into the flats, you know, during that time, because I gotta be at eight o'clock. I will, y'all. Hello, ain't no shame in my game, baby. I will. Ho! I will, baby. I am prepared to do whatever your girl needs to do. You understand me? 
You understand me? Baby, I'm not doing no tripping, okay? Your girl been talking about she ready to go to work. And baby, I am ready to go to work. So why? So if the lady say answer the phone, your girl gonna be answering the phone. If the lady say uh, 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 go fax something, your girl is gonna go fax something. Hello? Come on now. Y'all better be for real. Girl, your girl ain't been at work too. On top of the fact that my job description literally says, um, not job description, my job name literally says executive administrative assistant slash receptionist, okay? So then we, I will be, I don't know if they got no phone, but I know I'm gonna be greeting some guests and on the cool, they need somebody to greet the guests. Baby, because when I was up there, Girl, they did not have nobody at their front desk. It's like, where is the people? Okay, so I can put my little cute self up there, baby. I'm not mad. Who? Girl, please. Girl, please. So, so yeah, y'all. That's going to be the situation with that. But, you know, I'm not mad at it, girl, baby. I am ready, y'all. I am ready. The place is about 30 minutes away from my house. So, it's not that long of a drive. It's not that long of a drive. So, I'm not mad. If, and she wanted to be there at 8 o'clock. But the more I do it, I'll see. Because I probably, I'll either, if I can't either clock in earlier, I will probably um, either go earlier and just kind of already be on that side of town. Because... Um, I feel like because that traffic going down that way, I just need to kind of see how it is. Eight o'clock is kind of a bad time. If you live in Houston, you know, you know, but, um, it's just a bad time. I'm not going to put worship here because we're going to be gone and I'm not going to be at worship, but I do want to put a person right here too, if I can find someone though. But anyway, y'all, so I am so excited. I know that I have talked and talked and talked through this whole thing. But please disregard it, y'all. Your girl is so happy about the fact that I'm about to go to work or go back to work. So don't don't get mad at me, y'all. Don't get mad at me. I am in the middle of just doing a couple of things. And, you know, um... Yeah, it is what it is, y'all. It just is what it is. Just, I am so happy, y'all. I am so excited and so happy. Like, it is officially my time, you guys. And I cannot wait to do some some cash stuff in videos like I had planned. I normally do cash stuff in videos, y'all. I'm telling y'all. It be stuff your girl normally do. <laughs> but I can't do it. All right, so this is how we're going to be looking. Let me show y'all what we're looking like for this week. I'm not going to do too much. Like I told you guys, I already been running my mouth for dang near 30 minutes, y'all. So I'm going to fast forward the rest of the video. But this is how we're going to be looking for this week. I'm going to go ahead and do my to-do list. Fill out my to-do list right quick. We'll fast forward that. And then we'll go over it because there's a couple of things I did do on my to-do list I want to add. And uh, we'll go over my weekly meal plan as well. And then this video will be yours, okay? Let's do the meal plan first since it's right here. And then I will do the bill. This is what we'll do the to-do list with. We'll use this and we'll use these letters for to-do, okay? So let's fast forward. to-do list really quick and talk about what we already did um brick and solid accounts we have did that already order amazon stuff i'm actually going to do this on thursday 
when Papa gets paid. Create Excel for the Thailand transportation. I did that this morning. Rearrange closets to bring down and separate work clothes. I did do that. Um, clean my bathroom. That is going to happen this week. Start looking for a new suitcase. Not yet. Edit February goals and budget check. Uh, close out that's been done and that's been posted edit spend saturday with me i have not done that edit and post the Mar uh, march franken planner video that video has already posted um email guests concerning massages i have done that record and plan record plan with me video that's the video we're doing right now figure out when i'm going to get moved i have to go get my sister this week before we go out of town i need to do it either on thursday or friday um and then record week number one transaction log check-in okay so that is all so far that i have to do today is like i said just tuesday and for it to be tuesday and i i um, the, the list to be kind of long like that. I actually feel pretty decent about um, my to-do list, y'all. Okay, so let's let me back you guys up a little bit and let's put everything back in here where it belongs. First and foremost, that week that we did is looking so cute. Let's put it in here. We leave for Colorado on Friday, so we have that cute little thing. It's a road trip, so we have that. That is so cute. Love that. Love that cute little girl right there. We have our currently thing here because that's where we are. <clears throat> I am in love with how that looks. Super cute. Like I said, I can't overdo it because already it's Tuesday and I'm already kind of booked. But we have the rest of the week going on and I want to be able to add stuff. Okay, like tomorrow I probably will uh, clean my bathroom. We'll see how I feel. Like I said, my stupid cycle don't start today and I think tomorrow I'm going to not be feeling well at all. So I may have to do it on Thursday. I feel like Wednesday I'm going to be, I'm not going to be feeling well. So I just want to get as much stuff done today as I can because I feel like I'm really going to be cramping on Wednesday and Thursday for sure. Okay. So, ooh, I hate that. But anyway, all right. So we're going to do that. We have our weekly meal plan right here. Today, I have some pork, some pork bones or some uh, pork neck bones that I've taken out. We have pork bones in there that I'm going to cook. I have some leftover black eyed peas with rice that we're going to make. Uh, Papa made some uh, black eyed peas that's in the freezer we're going to pull those out i'll make a new batch of rice and then we'll make some green beans as well okay and then of course right here we're going to put our to-do list right there on top all right so that is how all of that is looking and i am in love with it okay if you made it to the end of this video thank you thank you thank you so much for making it to the end of the video i know this one was a long one with me running my mouth and all that good stuff but baby your girl had good news okay so who mad who is mad I know none of my budget bays is mad at all, so we're not going to even much worry about that. But if y'all like the video, y'all enjoyed the video, please, please, please hit that like button. All right? If you're new here and you enjoyed the video, not only hit the like button, but also hit the subscribe button. All right? I would love to have you join the budget bays. And until next time, you guys, my life on a budget. Bye!